So you're interested in learning more about using fuel oil to heat a cannabis grow facility. Well, you've come to the right place here at Tobacco University because that's just what I'm going to explain here. All right, let's get into the details of using fuel oil to heat a cannabis grow facility. Well, first off, with any oil, we want to be consider, we may take into considerations. Particularly with oil, we want to consider the uh, oil tank that's going to be required to be on site. Uh, this is an above ground storage tank that must have a containment in the event of a leak or a spill. This is an outdoor storage. Uh, pumping the oil out in cold winter months could be a problem, could gel. Insulated tanks or additives to the fuel to protect against this hazard need to be implemented. So it's not just kind of that always, oh, like the gasoline in your car. Oil storage tanks sometimes can have issues in that cold winter months. If not pre-treated, the oil can actually gel in the tank and cause it to become unburnable. There's number two oil, which is home heating oil, which you're most familiar with if you have oil heat to heat your house or facility already. This is number two oil is nearly identical to diesel engine fuel. It's a relatively clean fuel that demands uh, slightly more burner maintenance than a gas burner in comparison. It's cleaner due to the recent switch in the United States to ultra low sulfur fuel that's just caused it to become cleaner, not 100% clean, but at least cleaner, at least an improvement of what it was. Then we have number four and number six fuel oils. These oils have higher heating value than, num than number two fuel oil, but require preheating and a greater attention to equipment operation because they're more viscous, which means they're thicker than number two oil. Con uh, contracting for the winter fuels uh, fuel needs to be when prices are low, which is typically in August. You want to get those contracts in and signed uh, usually around August or early September because this can cause considerable savings and money and ensure that you have a supply for the winter. This is not something you just buy necessarily on demand. It is definitely advantageous to go through and seek a contract out towards the end of summer. Then lastly, there is waste oil. So waste oil comes from the collection centers, from cars and trucks. Some of this oil is cleaned and reused for lubrication. Much of it is available as fuel at a few cents per gallon. Waste oil that has not been processed requires a settling tank to trap water and sludge that might be present. These have to be disposed of to meet EPA regulations due to their classification as a hazardous waste. Therefore, waste oil uh, has a heat equivalent of about 150,000 BTUs per gallon, which is very similar to number two fuel oil. So again, it can be a lot cheaper to get potentially, it does require some other specialized equipment. So all of these are subcategories under adding fuel oil as a heat source for a cannabis grow facility.